Yes. Yes. PHP 8.4. They've been making a great comeback, and they might be a cool language. They might actually even fall under the cool. I think they're a sleeper. I think in 2026, you're going to hear a lot about it. I'm feeling I'm calling it now. I'm saying that PHP sleeper, okay? Uh, PHP 8.4 is a major update of the PHP language. It contains many new features such as property hooks, asymmetric visibility, and updated DOM API, performance improvements, bug fixes, and general cleanup. Okay, I didn't even realize there was a DOM API in PHP, okay? I didn't know this. This is new. This is actually new to me. All right, property hooks. Okay, so let's check out each one of these property hooks. Class local, string language code, let's see, uh, string country code, Public function, do a little construct, uh, language code, this, this, this. Okay, set language code. Well, crazy code. This is crazy. You're doing getters and setters. What is this? This is crazy. What is this? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Set combined code. Set combined. Let's see, get combined code. What are you doing here? Okay, anyways, here we go. Okay, so let's look at this new PHP 8.4. Here we go. We have these two. Wait, hold on. Public string language code. Public string country code brackets set so they have setters and getters now generally speaking generally i'm gonna throw this out there i don't like setters and getters okay let me defend why let me defend why the simple reason why is look at this statement right here the statement right here is very obvious what has happened we are going to set this country code equal to this right so you can look at this and you can see it and you go okay i understand it what you don't understand is actually this is happening. It kind of hides the information away behind the day. You know what I mean? It hides it away. There's 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 a little bit of indirection. And so when you read this line of code, you don't realize that there could be more executing. And so generally speaking, I've always disliked setters and getters. I feel like they're uh, too much too much magic is happening. Hidden functions call in uh, to tra transformations. Exactly. You hate the dollar sign, it, dude. People are too, too it's quit being. Quit being so hurt about the dollar sign. It's not that big deal. Property hooks provide support for uh, computed properties that can uh, natively be understood by IDEs and static an analysis tools without needing to write uh, doc block comments that might get out of sync. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I just don't think I like it. All right, asymmetric visibility. Private string version 8.3. Public get version, this version. Increment. Okay, class. Public private... <laughs> This looks stupid, but honestly, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, that is actually super cool. The, the ability to have properties, but then be able to hide its setting behind a private is pretty great. I actually like this. Superposition variable. That's cursed. Why is it cursed? What makes this cursed? Come on. Land, land of Leet. You're up on the big board. What's cursed about it? I expect an amazing breakdown of why this is cursed. Come on. The keyword naming is what makes it cursed. Really? That's it? That nah, doesn't bother me. I don't think I, it's saying, hey, it's public with a private set. You can read it from left to right. Public, left to right, bada bing, bada boom, easy peasy, pumpkin seedsy, no problem with it. All right, let's see the next thing. Deprecated attribute. Okay, nice. I like it. Deprecated uh, 8.3, use PHP version instead. Okay, deprecated. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know what these things are called, but the, this is like a special PHP thing that something happens. Right, and I don't really know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I know that it exists. It's an attribute. I know, but I don't know what it does. I don't know how they work. Message, use this instead since 8.4. I mean, this looks really nice. It's better than a doc comment, right? We can all agree that a doc comment's not great instead of having something that probably gives you more explicit, exact, you know, exact versions and all that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Next, let's see, next. Or new extend DOM features in HTML5 support. All right. New document, load, oh baby, oh baby, baby, look at all of those things, not even sure what to do with all of that, HTML, uh, main, is this like some sort of macro, what is this, uh, main article, 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 HTML, lib, XML, no error, okay, so this is the old version, right, all right, new version, doc, uh, let's see, a DOM, HTML doc, create from string, this, okay, Query selector main, last article. See, I don't really get this. What am I looking at? What am I even looking at here? What are, see, the problem is I don't even know what they're doing right now. Right? What is happening here? Okay, so you're loading HTML versus creating it from a string. Okay, okay, okay. You do some sort of X path 
node path query with crazy, crazy amounts of CSS, right? Not following sibling versus just this main article last child. So it looks like you can use just query selectors. So it's, it's like you get the whole CSS selecting thing going on. And then it's just dumping this in array featured classes, which is this. Okay. Oh, oh, I think I see it. You're exploding class name. So this is like some sort of this versus you actually get the node class name contains, right? Is that is that a JavaScript feature? Is, is node class name contains a thing? Um, uh, document here. Uh, body dot query selector, right? Oh, document dot body, right? Really? Is query selector not a thing? Yeah, query selector, right? All right, so yeah. So if you do that, let's see. Oh, not query selector. Uh, class class list uh, contains. Okay, so it's just okay. Okay, so it's just remaking. You get like you actually get class list contains. Okay, so it's just a reflection of the DOM API. Oh, okay. So you're doing. It feels confusing to me. You're doing a bunch of HTML operations and hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. I gotta be right back. Look who's causing trouble. Hey, you. Yeah. I swear, I get a cat, and they constantly cause trouble. Thank you. Hey, Dylan, thank you very much for that. Okay, so this feature is just simply being able to have more accurate. It's to have one-to-one -one API with the DOM, right? So that means I should be able to go like this. Document.create from... Is that, is that, is that, is it like full? Because I don't know this one. Create from string, so that's not one. All right, I was actually wondering if it could be like create from string, if that was also one. But it's somewhat more, well, it's somewhat like node class list. This one is, this one is definitely one for one because this looks horrible. This looks much nicer. Like you get query selector, you get this. So then you can go here and you can grab the articles last child, be able to go at, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's for Zoomers who are familiar with JS. I mean, gen generally speaking, I think that navigating an XML document via query selectors is pretty nice, right? Like th this, this is nice. This is a good feature. Yeah, XPath with a query was really complicated. Yes, this is really, this is not fun. This is pretty easy to understand. All right, uh, object API for BC math. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, is before Christ math. Was math different in the old days versus, versus today? I guess they used like Roman numerals or some shit. That's crazy back then. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we get a decimal, we get a number two, we do a little BC add. <laughs> I'm not really sure what you what we're doing here. I'm not. I, I honestly don't know what that five is. I honestly have no idea what that five is. Now we knew a number. What is this JavaScript? Okay, so this one I don't know what this means. Can I be real here for a second? Okay, so it's it's just a floating point of five. Okay. By the way, if you're doing an example, PHP four. If you're listening, if you're listening, PHP. If you're doing an example, especially for us laymen who are not uh, as well understanding of all these things, definitely do something that's like maybe truncates it. If you would have put a four here. And then truncated it, I would have been like, gotcha. Information's below. You know we don't read, okay? What do you think? What do you think we're doing here? You think we're reading? You think this is a reading stream? I don't know if this is for me. <laughs> read? I just vibe check. Yeah, this is a vibe check stream, okay? We're just vibe checking real hard right now. By the way, this is just straight. I mean, I guess I don't understand this feature. Is this like a normal feature people use? Honestly, I'm so used to this. I bet you, dude, I cannot tell you how many times I've done this, like, precision, right? Uh, num and then uh, p, right? And then just be, like, return math dot, uh, math dot floor and then just do uh, number times precision divided by precision. You know how many times I've done, like, that that guy? Like, that thing has just, like, just, just, just 1,000 times in my brain I have programmed this dumb, this dumb thing over and over again. So I guess PHP, they just have it built in. Well, that's pretty cool. It's basic calculator interface. Oh, it doesn't stand for, for before Christ. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes way more sense, basic calculator, than the other one. Okay, okay, I see it. I, I, I get it. These objects are immutable. Oh, let's see. Okay, new array functions. Oh, new array functions. Let's go. For each dog cat value as value, do this. Okay. Array find static function bool string starts with. Oh, beautiful. 
Let's go. What a great day. Nice little filter function. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that you can also do these little floating, these the closures. The, it'd be nice to maybe have a, a touch more supported syntax for this so you don't have to write that much that much code just to do the exact same thing. A nice arrow function here would be great. A nice little lambda function of some sort would be fantastic. But why declare static? Because anytime you do these things, they're often declared static. Whenever you create a function, where do you think that function goes, right? You can emit the static. I assume the static is a performance thing, right? Is that this function does not have any closure. It doesn't need anything. It is its own tippity top, right? I, I, that's just how I, that's how I read this. Now I could be complete. I could be completely wrong on this. It doesn't bind the, yeah. Okay. Does a static doesn't carry context. Okay. So I'm not crazy. Yeah, but it's really microseconds. Oh, absolutely. You're absolutely right. It's definitely like, it's an, uh, you're using PHP, which probably, probably to be completely fair means that your like performance of static versus like non-bound versus le like lexically bound scoping functions is probably not where like, you probably don't care that much. Can we be real here? <laughs> Can we be real? All right. So you got array find, array and find key, ar uh, array any, array all. Ooh, nice. The, okay, nice. That's sum and every. Cool. Cool. So I assume array dot or array any is just a uh, sum. It's the equivalent of sum. Yeah. Checks out at least one array element. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Good job, PHP. PDO driver specific subclasses. Okay, so this is just fun times. Nice. Ooh, nice. We got squeal light. Let's go. Good example. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, let's try to see the difference between them. Connect, create function. I really can't tell the difference between these two. Oh, okay. Oh, I see this. I see this. Okay, so it's not a generalized interface anymore. It's actually, oh, nice. Oh, okay, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Create squeal. You have to do squeal like create. Oh, okay. So that means the connection beforehand, used, you, you'd have to do like Postgres create stored procedure Right, you'd have to do some sort of like, you'd have to do like, they were all there and thus you had to go through everything. Now it's like a unified interface where it's just like create function, bada bing, bada boom, let's go. Okay, that's sweet. That's sweet, that's sweet. Again, I love, I PHP is just doing all the right things. I swear they're doing all sorts of great things here. Okay, let's look at this. Class, function, return, wait, what? New class method without parenthesis. Oh, nice. Okay, better parser. Let's go. You have to do a new class right here, and you have to cover it so that way you get the return. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Precedent order precedencing. This this had a higher this had a higher precedence than new. Thus, new wouldn't be executed on PHP. <laughs> I mean, love it. Great, great. PHP is getting better all the time. PHP is getting better all the time. These array functions, like way to catch, like way to catch up to to most. I mean, they're they're they definitely have a lot of catch up to do. I like this. I think this is all great. This is all fantastic. I'm actually excited to do a PHP website coming up here soon. Hopefully, I think I'm just nailing down the dates right now because I'm having. Let's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna tease you guys a little bit. Let's just say that we're having two people fly in, and we're gonna stay at the compound and help me make this happen. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. We're not. Say That's all I'm gonna say. You know, I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for this. This is so good. Okay, awesome. I love seeing this. I can't wait to use PHP uh, 8.4. And by the way, the next time I use PHP, I'm actually gonna stop writing it like 2010 PHP. And I'm gonna learn. I don't really understand like this syntax. I clearly don't understand. I. I mean, I get it. Class PDO or namespace PDO subclass squeal light. Like I get that. I just don't, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, like, I couldn't really quite formulate how this all works. I don't understand how the module system works. Like, the module system is a very confusing system to me still. Like, I don't see any includes in here or requires or uh, import or any of those things. Like, I don't really understand. You know, there's a lot of PHP I don't understand. I know it works. I just don't understand. Like, I, I, I've, I haven't done it yet. That's it. Require, yeah, require once. See, I was a big require once person. I was a big require once. Okay, the fact that, you know what, PHP iterated on the most important feature of all time from C, which is Paragma once. Who here Paragma once? Come on, one's in the chat for, one in the chat for Paragma once. Dude, PHP with require once, put that Paragma in there for me. Okay, they put it in there for me, Paragma, dude. And yes, I call it Paragma. Paragma, not even once. All right, this is awesome. Great job, PHP. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. My wife is Paragma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. The name. The name. <laughs> My camera got way closer, so now I can like do stupid things. Welcome. Welcome to this arc, okay? Welcome to the welcome to the camera got closer arc. A gen. 